welcome back to the dog hood everyone so today is the day that we pick our puppy how do we decide between these two cute faces oh my goodness which puppy is the best puppy for us how do we figure out which one will best fit into our lifestyle well there's some interesting things that we can talk about on how to choose your puppy particularly if depending upon the breed you might want to pick your puppy according to color so for instance if you're doing doodles you may want a party doodle versus a brown doodle or a white doodle they come in such a vast variety of colors till sometimes color is really what you go to pick your puppy for. But if you pick a breed like Golden Retriever, well shoot, they all kind of look alike, don't they? They're very similar in color. So how do we determine which puppy is the puppy for us in any particular litter besides color? Well, of course we want to look at sex. So we have a boy on this side and a girl on this side. So if we're very particular about the sex that we want, a lot of times I will ask the breeder, which particular sex do you feel in your bloodline is more attentive to their people? That's a good question to ask your breeder. Your breeder is always the person of interest that you need to follow and listen to their advice. They have spent a lot of time with these puppies. You, when you show up, you have a very small window of opportunity to decide which puppy is going to be the right puppy for you. But whereas these breeders have spent weeks and weeks and weeks with these puppies, so they might know that for instance, this puppy here might be an Olympic athlete, whereas this puppy here might be a couch potato. And depending on your lifestyle, one puppy will fit better with your particular lifestyle. We also want to look at things like the mom and the parents. Come here, Skye. Skye, come on in. Come on. Good girl. Sit down. What a good girl. We want to make sure that the color and the coat and the temperament of our mom and our dad are exactly what we're looking for in a puppy that we want long term in our household. Because, for instance, if you have a very active lifestyle and your mom and your dad are very subdued dogs, then you're going to struggle probably with that dog getting him up and getting him able to do things with you. But, for instance, if we're looking at a dog like Golden Retriever, we want a dog that is very obedient. We want one that is very good-natured dog because Golden Retriever is going to be ambassador for your home. It's a dog that is going to put you in a place where neighbor kids are going to interact with your dog. So you want to make sure that the temperament is correct on the parental dogs first of all, if nothing else. Then we also want to look at each individual puppy. What are the characteristics that we're looking for? For instance, Golden Retriever is block-headed dog. So we really are kind of looking for a sharp-headed dog, snub nose. Um, we want to look for healthy ears, healthy eyes. So the puppy that we decide to look at, we're going to go ahead and look the puppy over and make sure that all things are correct. Make sure there's no umbilical hernia on the bottom of the dog, which is where their umbilical cord is actually attached. That there's no poochiness. We're also going to be looking at the puppy that is best on his back or that we can manipulate that doesn't have high fright or flight reflexes. The breeder though, of course, can tell you the overall of this puppy in the last couple weeks of life. We can definitely tell which particular dog is best suited for us by listening to the breeder and explaining to them the attributes that we're looking for in a puppy for sure. So one of the things that you can test is pain tolerance. If you have children in the household, you want a dog with a very high pain tolerance because they might get their tail stepped on or their foot stepped on and you want to make sure that they're not reflexing back. So when you take the puppy's paw and just squeeze slightly to see if the puppy removes its paw from you, that tells you if the pain tolerance is high in the puppy. If they remove their paw really quickly, then that is a puppy that you probably want to uh, look for a different puppy in the litter if you have children in your home. Another thing that we are going to be looking at as well is how they interact with each other. We want to make sure that your puppy is not a dominant or a submissive dog as well. Very middle of the road is the best dog for a family pet. So we're going to look at the puppies interacting with each other and they're a little bit young right now. So they are just now beginning to interact with each other. So when we get up to the seven or eight week marker, I always suggest that you visit several times. Listen to the breeder's suggestion and definitely see which puppy is best mated for what you're looking for in your particular household. So a lot of breeders do things called puppy culture, uh, biosensor work, uh, ball heart testing, depending on what type of breeder your breeder is. And through these testing courses that the breeder does, it actually tells the breeder what type of puppy you're looking for. Um, it tells them what kind of dogs are in the litter. For instance, is this one an Olympic athlete? If it is, is that one a couch potato? Those are things that are told between the testing and the puppy culture to the breeder that the breeder can definitely ascertain for you and give you good information. The breeder is going to want to make sure to help you place the best puppy in their litter with your particular situation. 
The reason being is because a good breeder is also understanding that this particular puppy is a billboard for their business. And if they don't make the right connection with the puppy and the client, then it's not going to be a good fit and the puppy's going to end up coming back or not living a great life. And a good breeder always wants to make sure that their puppy is going to the best suited situation they can. And if you have a breeder that is not concerned about that kind of situation, honestly, I would really recommend that you might look for another breeder as well. But as we can tell, these puppies are very well socialized. They don't have any fright flight. They're able to lay on their backs. They don't give any issue for that. They don't try to fight or move away from that, which means the dog's very compliant, which means this dog is going to train out very easy as well. So not only are they cute, oh my gosh, you're so stinking cute, but they are also going to be puppies that are well acclimated for going home the very first time and being able to be a good situational fit for our household. So that is something that is very important. I cannot stress that enough. Listen to the breeder. Look for a breeder that does some puppy culture or puppy testing so they can tell you the best attributes of that particular litter. Um, when you go to pick your puppy up, be sure that you have all the items necessary, which is in another video that we have here on the dog hood. So be sure and look out for those videos as well. And as we go forward, we're going to teach you so much more about your new puppy. I'm so excited for our new puppy purchase. So, and on our requirement. So I hope to see you soon. Thanks again for coming to the dog hood.